Tell us your opinions. It's a good trailer. All right, guys, we're here off of uh, Interstate 30, just east of Dallas, to buy this 2020 heavy-duty trailer from Big Tex. We have a small one already, uh, but as soon as we clean it up and make it presentable, we're getting rid of it. Ready? I want to turn after this car. Nice, man. It's crisp. All right, guys, this is the trailer that we got. It's a Big Tex uh, 14 ET Echo Tango. Um, it's supposed to be a haul is 11,000. 11,000, how much pounds? You don't remember? Anyways, it'll haul that no problem. Now we can we can haul stuff around for our projects and stuff like that. We don't we don't have to take the car off. We can actually leave it on all the time. Man, it's getting cold and chilly out here, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this is a uh, it's a 2020. Um, rides really nice. It's got the mega ramps on it. It looks perfect with our shackles, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks really good with the shackles. It doesn't uh, look like it's swooping. Although the trailer weighs 2,000. 800 pounds, I think, 2,800 pounds, something like that. So, yeah, so this trailer, as it sits with that on it, is legal, um, or extremely close to legal. Um, yeah. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now, um, it's kind of somewhat dry. Um, so we're gonna try doing this one first and then that one. Um, so I got one of these. Um, anyway, so I got this at Harbor, at Harbor Freight. It was like, um, I don't know, 15 bucks or so. Um, so we're gonna try it. You ready, mister? Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and pour that in there. Uh, how are we going to do that without making a mess? You, you film and I do this. So, let's see. How are we going to do this without making a mess? I don't have a funnel or anything. Oh, whatever. You ready? Hold on. I don't, I don't want to spill it. It's going to make a mess. Let me, let me. All right. So, I got this um, oil funnel that I use to do oil. Let's see. Still gonna be a mess. Oh, and by the way, this is a um, what is this? This is like a water stain sealant forest green. I don't know how that's going to come out. But let's see here. You want to do it or you want to watch? I want to watch. It's quite loud. Yeah, and it shakes you too. better on like a, a vertical surface than it does on this but
all right so we did that i guess it looks okay what do you think yeah i like it you know so this is just to protect the top um it'll come from, off eventually huh? it'll come off eventually it'll come off whatever we can power wash it we can change it later but i think i just figured dark green what do you think yeah it looks better fine. than um i don't know I, I you know like that would that have been any better no the fence like 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 a dark brown, brown. No, you like this brown is, this is green so this is let's just see how it we're just gonna send it and see what it looks like i think it'll look okay it would look a lot less potent whenever it dries off so. yeah so i don't know where to start i think i'm gonna start over there or should i start over here huh start over here let's just see what happens Kind of does that. Let me uh, let me get can a. Can I just uh, wipe it off at the end? Yeah, I can wipe it off. But let's see if I can avoid not wiping it off at all. Some cement board. It should work. Okay. So now the overspray will go into the cement board, yeah. and not into the side of the trailer. Yeah, I should have done that to the other one too. I should have done it over there. But what are you gonna do, man? You, you just can't hire good help nowadays. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Huh? Yes. Man, before I started, you know, probably would have avoided half of the, um, stains on my hand, but professional that we are, we do things after the fact. Right. Let me use water, see if the water takes off. I hate doing things twice. Don't do what we do. Um, oh, it's it's on there forever. Don't yell at me. It's been a lot better had I not put it on there at all. You know, I should use acetone. You know what? I don't even know why I'm even bothering because it doesn't matter. Things gonna be all scratched up and dinged up anyways. all right so he's finishing up um obviously obviously you don't want to do what we did uh, if you want to keep your trade the other one i didn't mask off at all and it turned out decent this thing i guess the black just kind of like sticks out a little bit more but uh overall i think we're very happy with uh with the way it turned out what do you think yeah it's fine it looks fine it looks better when it dries off anyways yeah um yeah, just some, some areas soaks up better than the others. But uh, I think overall it looks decent. Uh, this one does as well. It's a lot more even. We did two trailers for like two and a half of these. Yeah, two trailers with uh, how many? So the red trailer was one. This one was one and a half. One and a half, yeah. All right, so that probably shows it. About half a gallon. Uh, half a gallon uh, for doing both trailers. All right, so I had a little bit of time to dry out. Um, I think it's going to work out well. Um, I think they both came out really nice, huh? What do you think, mister? I think they came out really nice. The old one, um, after power washing it and uh, staining it, now it looks um, somewhat presentable, right? It's looking really nice. I wanted to see what, uh, what water does to it, right? works as advertised at least while it's still new right hmm. anyways guys um 
Hope you enjoyed that. We will see you guys on the next video.